I'd wanna be me too. I'd wanna be me too. I'd wanna be me too. If I was you. Let's talk about love life. Yeah. <laughs> so there's so much I want to tell you about that. <laughs> So I remember, and, and I'm saying there's a huge change throughout the years. I will say for sure one year, and for sure two years that I've known you working and, and the things that, you know, you kind of had share and what have you. So what are you doing now? Because I think there's a fine line. I feel like in the past, some relationships, you were giving it all your, your heart and yourself. And they were not, they were not the right people for you. They were almost like taking advantage. Yeah, looking back, that's definitely, I've always been one, because I know that, you know, God's made us to be with somebody, not to be alone, and my kids have always been my focus, so for a while I didn't date, I just said, you know what, forget it, I'm just going to concentrate on my kids, and just concentrate on that, and I did that for a while, and I would date here and there, but dating is so tough, it's so difficult out there, just, I've scared off so many guys because they don't like that. I'm independent, they don't like that I make money. A lot of men have an issue with women making more money than them. Mm -hmm. um, and for different reasons, and they don't understand, you know, we have to get a phone call. If we get a phone call, it says, hey, come list my house. I'm not gonna tell them, no, I'm not gonna list your house. I'm gonna wait next week. Yeah. They have to understand the business as well. So, and I've always been an all in type person. So I always give my heart freely. Mm -hmm. And I know we, over the last year, I've been reading not just motivational books and not just business books but also relationships and building myself up and I think because I focused on myself more I had a list that I made years ago of what my ideal man would be mm -hmm. and as I'm dating I'm seeing more and more that I'm, everyone was like missing something yeah so I haven't given up I know that the right guy is out there mm -hmm. I'm hoping that I found the right one mm -hmm. but I won't ever give up until I know, but I won't ever settle either because I know what I'm worth and I know what I deserve and I know where we are and where I want to be and I'm not going to settle. If he's not going to be there to support me and to help me to get to the goals and we can build an empire together, then it's not worth it. Yes. What is, is that a conversation you have when you say, what is the main things that you're looking for in, in a guy? Like, let's say you're top three. My top three would be godly. He has to believe and have faith um, because we have to keep God in the center of, of our relationship, number one. Um, number two, not necessarily financially support, but emotional support because in our field, you know that mm -hmm. we're the therapists mm -hmm. for our buyers and sellers and we mm -hmm. need to make sure there's so many things that we take on that we don't let our clients know because we want to make sure that we have the process being smooth for them. Yes. And that's our job. Yes. Um, so they have to be understanding. They have to be able to support me in that aspect and support me in all my crazy ideas with bringing 200 people to the movie theaters and taking 125 to Quake's game and having an Easter egg hunt of 900 people. Nice. To be able to have those ideas and not go, oh no, you're crazy. I'm not, not going to help you with that, yes. you know? Um, and then I would say, my third one, he's got to be tall. Uh, <laughs> he's got to be tall. She's <laughs> <You're> getting real. <laughs> Six two. <laughs> well, considering I'm, I'm five five without yes. heels, and I like to wear heels. And my 14-year-old son is 6'2 already, so I'm wow. like, yeah. I do kind of like the taller guys. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so shorties out there, forget it. So, anyways. Um, has your list changed from a year to now on that person? Right, I that don't person? think so. No, it's, it's, it's been years since I read my list. But do you think your focus has changed? The type of person you were looking for? Not necessarily my focus. It's more, I, def, def, I think a year prior, I would be willing to settle, but I'm not willing to settle. I know what I'm worth and I know my value. And I think that's where women need to realize, know what you are worth first, and then the right guy will come and attract that. Exactly. And um, when it comes to that, you're right, because going back and thinking of your relationships and things, you know, as a woman that we go through, you didn't settle when you were in a really bad situation with the father of your kids and it's 
you know, not the best, you know, it's abused in different ways. What would you, what said enough is enough for you in that type of scenario? Oh, what did it for me that, because I was really young. I got married at 18, had my daughter at 18, love her to death and wouldn't change anything because of, they're my kids, you know, they're my reason. But mm -hmm. um, the final straw, because I had so much trust issue, but the final straw was laying a hand on my child. You can do what you were going to do to me, but you ain't going to touch my child. And that's why I said my kids have always been my why. They're always my reason. And it's my job to protect them. And that's he's the best way that I could have protected them was leaving that, scene, this, uh, that scenario. That is just amazing. But it took that. I mean, because of my self-esteem, I didn't have it the way I have it now. Uh -huh. So back then, I was going to do whatever you're going to do to me. But the second they laid a hand on my kid, that was it. I was gone. What do you think it is for people to, you know, when you're trapped in a situation, whatever it is, you feel like, how do I ask for help? Am I going to be able to support myself? Am I going to be able to do it? In those times, not when things are going okay, in those times that you're saying enough is enough, let, let me get out of this situation. What, what do you think people could do? Reach out to whoever you can. There's so many different organizations out there. Um, I didn't. I was fortunate enough when I did leave, I had a friend that I could stay with and then I ended up staying with my mom for a little while before I could get back on my feet. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have that, there's so many organizations out there. You were so much better than staying in that relationship. It's, it was the best decision I ever made. Yeah. Looking back and looking at where they are now mm -hmm. and where I am, I am so grateful that I made that decision in your life. If anyone's in that situation, in that scenario, give it a year or two, push through. You'll you'll start to see, you'll start to advance, you'll start to get better, and every day will be better. Just push through and just try and get through each day. And don't be ashamed. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. It's, it, it's not your fault. Yes. I've learned that the hard way. It's not, it wasn't my fault. Yes. It was their fault for what yes. they had done. What their choices were. Yes. And I've, I've just like I tell my my children. He says, you never put anybody down to make yourself feel better. There are unfortunately a lot of people out there that will belittle somebody just to make themselves feel better. Yeah. And that's not how I raise my children. And I think you mentioned that, that you don't really talk too much in detail with your kids about your, you know, your ex-husband because you damage them if it's that way. And in my opinion, I think too, when you get older, you realize they're just doing what, they don't even know what they're doing oh, when yeah. they have issues. So they still have their own issues. People that are... When you, people get into alcohol, drugs, or they're abusive, or they're telling somebody, you're worth nothing, you know, all that, it's because that's the way they feel inside. That is, yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? So then you start to feel compassion from far away, <laughs> and they have to get help. But you know what I mean? Also, it gives you a little bit of that closure to be like, oh my gosh, we need help. People need, but society for, even, I feel for the man, because they feel like they can't really you know, let, let me just keep it all inside, but it's people that are damaged. They, they need to get things out and, you know, they, they have a lot of issues inside of them. Yeah. To feel that way. And uh, I think it's real about women that we feel ashamed or we always want to be with someone. So it looks like we're good. I, I relate to that as well. Can you believe that me being a Latina, Mexican, born in Mexico, and I was one of the youngest, actually the oldest, not to get married in my family uh, situation. So, and I hope it's a joke. Uh, a lot of my cousins got married when they were 17, 18. The last one was like 21 of my generation. So Jeanette over here, uh, always being outside the box and a rebel. And I, and I just always knew too that there was more to life. Um, 21, graduated from college. 22, 23, 24, 25, not married. <laughs> no kids, right? So imagine a 25-year-old Mexican woman uh, no kids, mm, no husband. <laughs> so they will literally make fun of me and say like, are you, are you going to get married? So at, tw at 25, they will even whisper to each other. I, I don't think she's going to get married, you know, and because they knew, you know, the struggles that I had and, and maybe they saw my, my upbringing. And then I became a little bit skeptical about trusting and, and man. And I even questioned if, marriage was for me as well, you know, because I didn't really have good examples out there of right. happy people out there. 
So I was a little more like, mm, I don't know. And I always found the the bad on people, on, yeah. on the guys. Oh yeah, you know, and and very like that. And then I wait this long, and then I have this guy that um, he seems so nice. Everything happened like really good, very nice to me. So he proposes to me within three months of dating, and I say yes. So I say yes, and I think after the three months, everything that I thought he was, he changed. Yeah. I was like, well, well, thanks, brother, for telling me in advance. Right, right. Because I think I think that's one of the issues with people that you put this phase, you put this, you know, just be yourselves. Why are we wasting each other's time? Right. And um, it, it didn't go well for me because I, I told the world I'm getting married. Everyone's like, oh, she's getting married. They're all excited <laughs> for you now at this point. Now you got to go back. Oh, okay. Yes. So I changed my mind. Is yes. that going to happen? Yeah. So I almost did it, Lisa. I almost got married and um, totally different backgrounds, totally the meaning of uh, uh, family. You know, he was telling me, you know, I think you spent too much time with your mother. I think maybe uh, when we get married, you should just see her like once a month. And I was like, holy macaroni, who, what the, what the, right, are you yeah, telling me what to do? <laughs> right, but like, hold on a second, no. You know what I mean? And uh, all of a sudden he said, oh, you dress too provocative, too sexy. I don't even think to this day I do, but um, then I started dressing, I started doubting myself. So indirectly, things that I seen in my childhood, it was happening again to me. Right. And I almost had that opportunity to say, well, maybe this is what life is about. Maybe this is my life. Maybe this is the way it's supposed to be. This is the way it's supposed to be, or my story. Right. Even though I'll see other people being open, you know, like the relationships, they treat each other kindly, they could look sexy if they want to, they, they build each other up, not tear each other down. Right. So he was actually... I don't think he knows that I hope he didn't know that he was actually damaging me you know or oh, why are you dressing like that or oh, you just want to show your boobs and I was like isn't he the guy that asked me to get married right now everything bothers him. supposed to love you unconditionally yes so then um, sure enough I started being submissive to to that you know and at work that they, they will start seeing my change so especially when he was around so when he was around I will not you know I will not laugh I will not be myself uh, I will dress differently and co-workers will make fun of me and one of my co-workers happens to be Christian <laughs> my husband now he was my co-worker my friend and he'll say why are you dressed why are you dressed like a nun literally it could be like 85 degrees out there and I will be wearing a little sweater and he's like why are you dressed like that a long dress or a little bit more loose and, he, and you know I kind of opened up to, to a few people and he was one of them uh, my now husband yeah. right <laughs> and um, and I was like you know what I don't think this is for me but I'm embarrassed I'm embarrassed to now say I failed and maybe or maybe I'm this is my life you know this is what I see in my life so maybe this is my story um, so I am so happy that I basically got the courage to break that off because I think it would have been really, you know, it would have been miserable and who knows, right? Maybe with a kid or two. And I did not want to continue that story, what I see in my family happening over and over. So I always talk about breaking the chains. Yes. Um, don't be another statistic. You know, me growing up and I'm an immigrant to this country, um, I always go to college, what have you, and people will question me, are you really Mexican? You must be European with blah, blah, blah. Well, if you look back in the history, right? Uh, they'll say, well, you're 25 years old. You must have like four kids. I mean, you're a Mexican girl. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? That, to your point, that's why I love warriors. Those things will drive me the opposite way. Right. To show, I want to show that this is not, this is not about a label. We, we are you're worth so much more and for me my faith uh first i didn't i always believe in god but i realized that the more i get closer to god that i truly feel it my life has transformed right god can do amazing things in our lives if we just let him we just have to let him yep really be genuine with that and also not to close our hearts and i feel like with you i almost want to do a little follow-up because i know you're dating i just want it to be <laughs> i want to be like your sister old sister over here um, I would love to talk to you later and, and see how, how you're doing with your self-esteem. I see that you're being more sexy, being on social media, wearing like nice dresses, which I love. 
what can you commit to us? Because I want to see even more of a transformation, like a 10x. And in, what what can you commit and how, how can I keep you accountable to that? Ooh, well, I still need to lose to get to 135. Okay, so that's what I'm working that? on. <laughs> so I'm now at 150, so okay. I need to be down another 15 pounds. Yes, <laughs> yes. Did you guys hear that? Uh, and I need to still take care of my clients more. Mm -hmm. Um, because taking care of my clients is helping my business. Which you told me that you do a lot of referrals, 95% of your business or so? My business is 90, 95% referrals. Um, because I still need, I have a small database still is, because I'm still fairly new in business, yes. so to speak. Um, so I would, I would say just keeping me on track to make sure that I am doing the things that I need to be doing yes. to be able to keep the business growing. Yes. Um, which would be then I need to hold two more events before the end of the year. Nice. So that's be a total of four events. Yes. Um, so I think those are the two main things. And make time for yourself. Yes. You need to make time for yourself. We are, you, are you having time off for yourself? I am actually, yes. Um, so every little secret about me is I, every time I, <laughs> every time I close a transaction, mm -hmm. that's when I get my, my massage. <laughs> so nice. I get a massage for myself. That's my way of thanking myself and, and pampering myself. So yes. every time I close a deal, that's what I do for myself. I think you should do it more often. I should, but I, if as long as I close a deal at least once a month, I'm yes. good. <laughs> okay, then, then maybe you should close two then. Because I know that you support your kids and we always buy things for our kids and then we're last. Yes. So remember, don't feel like you, oh my gosh, I'm pampering myself. Am I going to, you know, am I a diva now? Take care of yourself. What even financials for yourself, for your self-care? Get a massage, go get a facial, pamper yourself. Let me tell you like so much more love, because I feel like you're starting to do it. I am. But you need to do more. And let me tell you something I'm really excited about, is I'm taking my first girls cruise trip with a girlfriend of mine. Just I had Just me and my girlfriend. Just uh, nice. the two of us were going in, in about, about a month from now we get to go. That is so cool. So I'm super excited for that. That's the first trip I've done on cool. my own. And in the dating life, we're not going to talk too much about that, <laughs> but um, you better treat you right. Okay. He you is. Are, you are worth I am. a lot. So I will say, take your time. Um, and I think people that really love you will be there no matter what. And I also think that with time, things come up for good or bad. So it's, do. we don't have to rush into things. Look what happened to me. I was thinking I was getting married in three months, <laughs> right? <laughs> so take your time. I think your transformation is being drastic from a year to now, but I feel like from now to what you could accomplish in another year is gonna be amazing and beautiful to see. Yeah. Because I think that everything is kind of flourishing in different areas of life. It is, and it's all encompassed in one. It's not just one, Part is really good and the rest are all slacking it's balancing everything together as one yes so what kind of uh, to, to finish off what affirmations do you give yourself I would like to know what kind of affirmations do you give about yourself the top two oh I say top three I'm beautiful I'm sexy and I'm successful can we say them together sure absolutely yeah. let's, let's do this <laughs> I'm beautiful I'm, beautiful. I'm sexy Okay, I'm successful. I'm ready. Let's do it together. Let's do it. Okay. One, two, three. I'm, I'm beautiful. beautiful. I'm sexy. And I'm successful. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. It was awesome. Oh. I feel like, oh my gosh, goosebumps everywhere. And I would love to meet up with you again and uh, empower more of our ladies out there. Thank you for having me. It was so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I was you, I'd want to 